Welcome to the channel. I'm G Matrix, and today I've got a special treat for you. I'm doing a cover recreation of Death of Wolverine number four. Original artist is Steve McNiven, and just so you know, Wolverine did get better. I'm a pretty big comic book fan, and this was a really good challenge for me. I've never done a recreation of a comic book cover before, and it was really fun. It got suggested to me by uh, one of my subscribers on one of my first, I think it was my first video, the Octane uh, coloring thing about this drawing is I actually ink it with a brush and I've never used a brush on a completed drawing before. I've tested it out, messing around with them, but never actually finished a drawing using a brush. It was really fun and I mean, I, I'm going to definitely do it again. Before I get into the inking, I'm going to start first to talk about the pencils. I first put down the overall shapes of what I'm going to try to recreate. First with the uh, death and then with Wolverine's body in the middle and so I know, uh, get an idea of look in the end so I can place everything. I'm gonna let the rest of this uh, penciling play out so I'll come back to you when I start inking. And before I forget, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe. I'm back and now it looks like I'm about to start the inking. You see this is the first time using a brush and I have a little scratch paper on the side to test out the inks before I start putting them down on paper. Something a little trick that I kind of learned from watching Walden Wong Inks, another YouTuber and comic book artist for Marvel Comics. You'll also notice that I start putting random spots on the parts that I know will be solid black later in the drawing. That's just to save space and uh, don't waste ink basically. And so I can always uh, test out the tips and make sure I'm getting a sharp point whenever I start a line. You, I do it throughout the entire drawing. You'll see little spots that slowly build up and around. I had a lot of fun doing this drawing. I mean, it was a really a tough challenge. And as I was going through it, I was like, dang, actually, maybe I can actually pull this one off. It actually is kind of looking like the original. The toughest part of inking this is actually inking Wolverine's hair. I had a little difficulty because I've never actually inked with a brush, like I said before. After I finished inking all the parts I could and or I felt comfortable doing with the, uh, the brush, I actually switched to a Unipin. And actually, the only reason I have a Unipin is actually from watching ADC Art Attack. Actually, in this part of the video, I actually want to give a shout out to ADC Art Attack. Just yesterday, as I'm working on this video, he actually gave me a shout out on his community page. Didn't have to do that, didn't tag him or anything like that. He just noticed and gave me a shout out. I was like, really surprised. So, thank you. Getting back to the drawing, one of the fun parts of inking this was actually inking the cloak for death. The lines on the outside, you'll see me ink later, well, they're really wavy and angled and curved and it was, it was a lot of fun trying to recreate those angles with the, the brush. I don't see a lot of artists on YouTube do is mention how long the piece took them from beginning to end. This actual piece took me roughly five hours, maybe five and a half hours to complete the total number of hours my recordings were. I'm going to do my best and try to edit this down to under 15 minutes and hopefully you guys can watch the entire thing. Thank you. 
point of the video, I'm pretty much done inking everything I can with the brush, and I, so I, I'll switch to inking all the big black areas, so which are easier to do with the brush than it is with any other inking tool. actually switch to uh, the Unipin so I can actually get the better details and a uh, little better line, more accurate lines than when I could with the brush partially because uh, I'm not as comfortable with the brush At this point of the video, I actually start coloring with Copic markers. If you want to know what color I use uh, at any given point in the video, let me know down in the comment section. I, I'll see what I can do and try to uh, let you know which ones those were. a lot of ink color in this background. It took way more than I expected and then actually the markers started running out of ink. 